guys, welcome back to a new vlog on the channel. Before we get into today's vlog, I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video, VitaClean. VitaClean is a shower head that filters your water using vitamin C and essential oils to help improve dry hair and brittle skin. The shower head has a triple filtration system that gets rid of mineral buildup that ends up in your scalp and blocks your hair follicles and your hair oils. And the shower head keeps your hair really healthy and strong. It contains a cloth that catches residual pipe particles. And the vitamin C and essential oils work together to neutralize chlorine and to help retain moisture in your hair. And as a plus, it also helps to conserve water in your shower and removes lime scales from your shower. The vitamin C filter to shower head was super easy to install. I was kind of nervous that I couldn't install it myself because I'm usually not good with like plumbing and handyman things around the house but it was so easy it took like five minutes to do all on my own and I love this vitamin C shower head so much because of all the benefits it provides for my hair and my skin like I said it helps keep my hair super strong especially since I just recently colored it and I color my hair all the time you guys know this so I really love how the vitamin C and the essential oils really help keep my hair strong and not brittle and you guys know I have eczema and dry skin so it also helps keep my skin super moisturized and feeling so soft and overall it just feels like such a spa like experience i'm all about self-care and just wellness and just having such a relaxing aura every time i shower or take a bath you guys know i love my shower and my bath routine so i really feel like i am just amplifying my spa like experience at home it smells amazing the vitamin c creates like an aromatherapy in your shower and it just feels and smells so good so guys definitely go check out the vitaclean shower head that's going to be linked in my description and i do have a cute coupon code for you guys. It is Stephanie10. You can use that code at checkout to get 10% off your purchase. So all that will be linked in my description. Go check it out. And with that being said, let's get into today's vlog. Hope you guys enjoy. Hi you guys. Welcome to the vlog. So I'm very excited for today's vlog because I get to do one of the things I love to do the most on this channel and that is clean and organize and get rid of things that no longer serve a purpose for me so yep as you can tell by the title i'm going to do a closet clean out today and not only a closet clean out but since it's the fall time it's october now i can't believe it it's like so crazy how fast the months go by now but i want to transition my closet from spring and summer to my fall and winter clothes let me put down my camera because my arm hurts okay um i'm gonna also turn on a lamp because it's so gloomy today it's the aftermath of the hurricane speaking of the hurricane i've been seeing videos and photos of the aftermath of what's going on in florida and my heart goes out to everyone that's affected and that has family or friends or loved ones down there or that used to visit there i've never personally been there before but it's so sad to see like all of these like once gorgeous gorgeous places that people went there to have fun and create memories with their family just completely destroyed and it's very very scary so if you are from there or know people there you know my heart is with you guys but yeah we're getting like the leftover rain from the hurricane it's been raining and gloomy for the past i think this is the fourth day now so um it's also sunday and i was gonna go to like a fall festival with my friends but we're all just like well, this is staying at home in bed weather um but this is gonna be organizing my closet weather too so yeah today's sunday it's also football sunday the packers play at four and right now it's noon so i'm trying to get all this done before the game starts so four hours i think that's enough time so in the past when i've done my closet purges i would literally take everything out of my closet lay it on my bed and like make piles about what i want to keep and what i want to donate i'm not going to do that this time because i don't think I need to do that big of a purge because most of the clothes in my closet I'm gonna keep but I do want to pick up on my Poshmark closet again it's been a while since I have listed anything new or just it's been a while since I've been active on my Poshmark closet so I want to list more things and get that going again basically my mindset is if I didn't wear it this past summer and um like it no longer fits or the quality isn't good or just whatever the reason is then I'm gonna either donate it to charity or I will sell it on my Poshmark or I'll make a pile to give to my mom because I always give a lot of my clothes to my mom because we're like the same size. So um, we like to share clothes. So um, yeah, I'll make three piles, donate, sell on Poshmark, give to mom. And I'm just gonna go through my clothing rack and just pretty much take out the stuff that I know I won't wear anymore. So that's my plan for today. I also wanna go through my dresser 
drawers because it's actually been like a couple years like I don't think I've actually gone through these drawers since we moved in back in 2020 so that's super long overdue I know there's clothes in here that I don't wear anymore I've had t-shirts in here since college that I don't wear anymore that's another reason why I do um, these kind of closet cleanouts because I still have clothes from like 2012 13 14 that I just held on to for sentimental reasons mm -hmm. but Today, I'm coming to the point where it's like, okay, if you haven't worn it in at least two years, you're definitely not going to wear it, so let's get rid of it. So that's my mindset. So I need to go grab some trash bags, and I'll give you guys a little look around of my closet currently. For the most part, I try to keep it organized and like tidy, but lately it's been um, getting a little bit out of control. These are clothes I just need to arrange. I need to go through these shoe boxes, these boots. And yeah, this is where I keep the majority of my like tops. Like I have my jerseys back there. My blazers and coats are here. All my button ups are in this section. And then these are all my short sleeves, tank tops and body suits. And yeah, those are my cover up. So that's kind of how I organize it. I organize it based on like piece by like thinnest, like tank tops all the way to the thickest, like coats and blazers. This side of the closet. So those are all my sweaters and winter clothes. So we're going to take those down and go through that. We'll hang those up and store my summer clothes in there. And then these are all my pants and dresses. And a lot of these dresses, like I said, I've had since I was in college. And you know, those are my like clubbing days. So I don't really wear clubbing dresses anymore. I don't go clubbing anymore that much. So probably some good dresses that I could definitely sell on Poshmark. I definitely just need to organize these so much better. Those are my boots, my tall boots. Those are, what are those? Those are shorts. And then these are all leggings. Definitely gonna have to give some away because I don't like bright colors anymore. Sweatpants and my most commonly worn sweatshirts. And the rest of my hoodies and sweatshirts are actually back here. Um, oh, I should wear my Packers one today. The Packers are playing today. I have a bunch of bags back here that I should probably go through as well. And as always, in all of my closet purge videos, because I will get questions, Anto's clothes are in the drawers out there in the bedroom, and they're in the closet in the office, which will actually soon become his office. We're transitioning that office from my office to his office, so it'll be completely his room over there with all his stuff. So yes, I get questions all the time. Where is Anto's stuff? Why is it just all your stuff? Um, his stuff is all over there. So no worries guys, he has stuff here. Okay, so that's the closet. So I think I'm just gonna get right into it. I need to go grab some trash bags outside and start making my piles. I'm gonna make the piles outside in the bedroom. So I'm gonna just like kind of like go through these, bring everything out to the bed and make my piles. <laughs> So I'm trying to do all this in like sections and break it down into like small pieces so I don't get too overwhelmed. So I'm starting off with my summer clothes. I just pulled everything from my closet that is summer. And that's this first pile here. So this is all the summer clothes from my closet. My plan now is to go through all these and make two piles, one to keep and one to give away. And then I'll figure out whether I should donate or um, sell on Poshmark after I make those piles. So we're gonna do the summer clothes first. So I sorted through my summer clothes. This pile behind me are the summer clothes I want to keep. And I put the ones that I want to give away in a bag. I just pulled out my sweaters, my fall and winter sweaters and top. Now I'm gonna go through my fall clothes. And again, I'm gonna make two piles. And then after I do that, I'm gonna fold my summer clothes and store them away here, put them back up on the shelf in my closet. And then I will go ahead and hang up all my fall clothes in my closet. And then I still need to go through 
my closet to go through any of the clothes up there that I want, like to see if I want to give any away because I didn't go through the, clo the clothes that are hanging up still. I just took all the summer clothes out. So that is my mental checklist in my head. I should probably, you know what, we're gonna write this down. Okay, what did I just say? <laughs> I should watch back the tape to see what I just said. Okay, so here's my little list. Excuse my poor handwriting. I was writing this so quickly, but this is my checklist for today. I already went through the summer clothes. So next we're gonna go through the fall clothes and then go from there. So I highly recommend making a checklist if you don't know where to start. Just kind of plan it out in your head and write it down and just check it off along the way as you go. I just wanna make you mine. Mine, mine, mine. Mine. Mine, mine, mine. I just wanna make you mine. Mine, mine, mine. Mine. Mine, mine, mine. I just wanna make you mine. So I just finished going through the fall clothes. I can check that off. I ended up keeping everything except for two pieces. So we have a lot of clothes to hang. So right now I'm going to fold and put away the summer clothes first. I just have a few hangers um, and I found our Christmas pajamas. Remember Vlogmas last year, me not to have matching pajamas. So I pulled these out. It got me so excited for Vlogmas. I actually started writing down my um, content list or my content schedule for Vlogmas. I'm like so excited. So I'm like planning way ahead. But anyway, we checked off a few more things on the list. So I folded and put away the summer clothes. Check. I hung up the fall clothes. Check. And then I went through the rest of my closet. I will just the stuff that was hanging. I still need to go through um, the jeans and the shoes, which, which is next on my list. And I also need to go through the shelves with the crates. So that's really all that's left, just to go through that and then go through the drawers. And then lastly, I will, I'm not sure if I'll get to this today, but last on my list is to list all these things or the ones that I wanna sell on Poshmark. So here's an update on my list. Basically halfway through. So we're making good progress. I'm actually gonna take a break now because it's four and the Packers are about to play. So we're gonna take a quick football break and then I will probably continue during halftime and then probably tonight. This is gonna go on into the night. So I will check in with you guys then. Okay, hi guys, I'm back. The game is over, the Packers won. So I'm in a great mood right now. And it's pretty late because the game actually went into overtime. And it's 8.08 .08 right now, um, so I'm going to keep going because I'm not tired yet and I really just want to get this done tonight. So right now I'm going to go through those drawers and just honestly get rid of stuff. I'm probably not going to like re like organize it or refold stuff because I usually keep the drawers pretty organized for the most part. Um, maybe just like tidying it up, but just for the most part, I'm just going to go through each one and just like put things in the trash bag that I don't want anymore.
guys, I'm finally finished. I'm so beat. Every time I do a closet clean out, it's always just so exhausting because it's just so much work. So I will show you guys my final finished closet. There are a couple things I didn't get to get to um, today. So those two bins up there are so, so, so overstuffed. That one there is where all my bathing suits are. And then that one there is where all my like scarves and hats and winter accessories are. I'm gonna do that another day because it's pretty late now. It's actually 10 o'clock and it took me another two hours just to finish everything because I am really particular and very, very like detailed when I organize my stuff. And I'm also like a very big perfectionist. So I will literally work on something until it's exactly perfect. Um, but I will show you guys my closet and what I ended up doing because I changed it up a little bit. Here is what it looks like at a glance. Please ignore those two because like I said, I'll get to those another day. But I went through my shoes. It's still kind of messy, but I did um, end up getting rid of like two or three pairs. I also went through the jeans. I got rid of, again, like two or three pairs. And I also got rid of all the boxes. I ended up recycling a couple. And then the others I kind of just hid behind the jeans because I don't really need them. Um, so they're just hidden there. Here I arranged all my boots. So this... Um, this shelf used to be all boxes, but I consolidated all of the boxes, so there's no more boxes on any of these shelves. And I put the rest of them up there. I put the little boxes in the bigger boxes. Um, yeah, these bottom three shelves are all of my boots. I totally forgot I had these boots. These boots were hiding behind the jeans, so I like to be able to see everything I own like um, at like a quick glance because I totally forgot about my... Um, Doc Martens, my favorite, favorite boots. I've had these for like three years now and I totally forgot I had them. I also forgot about these. I just got these last winter and these were my favorite last winter as well. These two I like wore all the time so completely forgot all about them. So that's why I like to have them all displayed. So yes, I have all my boots here and then I also went through my purse. These are the ones that um, I use often and then I also have on the back of the drawer, I went through my belts. So I put all my belts here. I got rid of like one belt and then these are like my tote bags so that's my travel bag i have like my winter tote bag and then i have another tote bag and then also my backpack i've had that for like five or six years now um such a nice backpack from target and then i also have my little duffel bag here so just to feel like bigger bags and belts back here and then on this up here i kind of already went through this but the way I organized it was my tank tops and bodysuits, short sleeves. These are my like long sleeve black shirts, like my black sweaters and just like black long sleeve shirts. Cause pretty much in the fall and winter time, I just wear all black, black long sleeves. And then this section is all of my button ups. So all of my white button ups, I have this striped one and then I have a couple black button ups. And then here we get into the sweaters and the vests. So I have some like sweater vests here i like to use these for layering and then here i have my cardigans i have like a couple cardigans and then these are like my sweater sweaters um more cardigans another vest a turtleneck vest so here i put like all the turtlenecks i only have like three or four um so i kind of try to categorize it um by like length you know tank short long sleeve sweater um, and then within each category, I try to organize it a little bit better. So in the sweaters, I put the turtleneck sweaters together, and then I put the sweater vests together, and then I put the cardigan sweaters together. So that's kind of how I did that. And then moving on to here, we have our shackets and all the plaid. So I have this plaid shacket. I have another plaid shacket. I love the Sherpa jacket. I got this from, I think I got this from Oya oh Shein, but it's so warm and fuzzy and um just so cute and then i have another jacket and then here we have like denim jackets and then here are all of my blazers i have so many blazers and then the athletic wear so that's how i organized that part made so many improvements on this side all of the summer clothes are up there so i did something that i should have done a long time ago those jean shorts i don't know why for some reason like even during the winter i would always keep them out here Ever since I was living in my old apartment, they just always stayed in that basket on that shelf. Um, but it makes more sense to have my athletic um, clothes here. So I have like my athletic tops and then also my athletic sets are in the back there. So that's what's in that. And then here are all of my leggings. I got rid of a lot of leggings 
that are pilling or you know not really great quality and I just feel like it you know is a good place for both of them they're right next to each other so when I work out I can come here and pick out my outfit whether I want to wear a set or leggings and a, and a top so that worked out well and then yeah I put up my jean shorts up there because I mean that's where the rest of my summer clothes are so it makes sense so um yeah I went through my sweatpants these are my like single sweatpants I also have like lounge wear like sweatpants lounge sets and those are all behind here I'm not going to go through that because it's just a lot of work to get in there but all of my sweatpants and sweatshirts loungewear sets are behind there I didn't go through those because I pretty much wanted to keep all of them I already knew that I wanted to keep all of them so for my like single sweatpants that I don't have a set with that's what's here and then up here this is empty because I have to fold some laundry and I have a lot of sweatshirts in that clean laundry pile so those are all gonna go here but these are my most commonly worn uh, sweatshirts and hoodies that's where that goes so I have a lot more to add there I'm very happy with this change I made and then those are my boots I'm just gonna keep them there because I have no other place to put them um, I didn't end, end up getting rid of oh actually yes I did get rid of one pair um, they're like boots I got from Walmart in 2014 I can't believe they lasted me that long but they were really beat up and I consolidated this a lot it used to be so squished I had no room for anything but I got rid of a couple pairs of pants a lot of dresses I haven't worn in years so I ended up um, or I will list a lot of dresses on my Poshmark closet and then over here I have my like super long long cardigans and I put them here because like they're long and this is the like section for long things so I have a lot of long to the floor cardigans I love the like long long cardigans it's just such like my favorite type of thing to wear in the fall and the winter and then the rest I just have like some dresses I still have some like short sleeve and like kind of warm weather dresses because I feel like it'll still be a little bit warm or not warm um it'll still be kind of nice weather in October so I kept some out and then I have all my like fall dresses I can't wait to wear these I love this dress from Fashion Nova and then I have like sweater dresses this corduroy dress that I've had for a couple years from uh Forever 21 and yeah and then over here I have all my pants I love pants my pants collection is growing very rapidly um a couple years ago I only had like maybe this amount of pants because I was more of a jeans wearer but I am such a pants wearer now um and that's pretty much it that is my weekender bag my base um weekend tote that's always just there in case I need to pack a bag really quick to go to my parents or somewhere overnight but yeah you guys that's the closet turned out really well and I'm happy that I can finally start planning fall outfits because before it was just so cluttered and I was just kind of overwhelmed in this closet with both the summer and the fall clothes it's really hard for me to plan out the outfits I wanted to wear for a cold weather but now that everything is just laid out very organized I can finally start planning what outfits I want to wear and while I did do some fall shopping this year I didn't really buy that much um what I plan on doing is using a lot of the pieces I already own in my closet that I've had for years and kind of just recreating new outfits and putting new pieces together like a different sweater with a different pair of pants um because I have so many basic essentials now in my wardrobe and that was my goal was to build my wardrobe where I have basic essentials and build that you know capsule wardrobe where I can mix and match pieces and create so many different looks so that's what I want to do for this fall time so I'm very excited to finally start because I feel like I really haven't um put together any fall fall outfits yet but now it's actually really cold it's like in the 50s and the 60s now which is cold for me like that's when I can finally start wearing sweaters and just taking cute fall photos for you guys and showing you guys my outfit ideas so I'm very happy I finally did this and now I can rest and relax the bedroom is actually kind of messy though I need to clean the bedroom a little bit I have more clothes here and then those are um those are the clean clothes I need to fold. So I just ended up with three bags of stuff. These two bags I want to list on Poshmark. That one I'm going to donate. So I don't think I'm going to list anything tonight because I'm tired. That was so much work. So if you don't follow my Poshmark, I'll link it in my description. I'm going to try to start updating it regularly. Usually when I have like a big bag of stuff to list, it takes me a while to list. Yeah, tomorrow my goal is to list a bunch of items and I have a good mix of stuff I have some bags and purses I have like a Rebecca Minkoff backpack that's so so cute I'll actually show you guys yeah this backpack I think is so cute I was so obsessed with it for so many years um, but it just doesn't really serve a purpose for me anymore because I don't really use backpacks anymore um, but it's kind of like a purse backpack so many ways you can wear it but yeah I got that probably like six years ago I was definitely still in college when I got that but yeah that's just one of the things I plan on listing I have 
um just a ton of clothes honestly it's mostly clothes so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna end the vlog here because like i said i'm very tired and it's late now it's sunday night so i want to just get settled in i want to do my night routine and get ready for bed and just relax for the rest of the night so yes i hope you guys enjoy this video again i will link my poshmark in my description okay you guys good night i will see you guys in my next vlog thank you so much for watching